The Tennessee River quietly rolls along through southwestern Tennessee, flowing beside the banks of Pittsburgh Landing. Nearby, a small log building was erected in 1851 in the thick wooded area of Hardin County. It would come to be known as Shiloh Log Church. In the Bible, the word Shiloh appears and is believed by many to mean place of peace. One trip through the area today offers peaceful scenery with leafy forests, green meadows, and clear waters rushing along dark brown stream beds. The scene would have likely been even more peaceful in 1851. But from April 6th to April 7th, 1862, just 11 years after, in an ironic twist, Shiloh, Tennessee would be ravaged by war. It was Ulysses S. Grant who said, The Battle of Shiloh has been more persistently misunderstood than any other engagement between national and Confederate troops during the entire rebellion. What a painful and distressing battle it was. As a theater of war, the battle, which lasted two days, was the bloodiest conflict in the Civil War up to that point in history, costing the nation a total of 23,746 men. The shock spread along with the news to the nation surrounding. At one point, Confederate General P.G.T. Beauregard sent this message. If defeated here, we lose the Mississippi Valley and probably our cause. Shiloh was critical to victory on either side for its proximity to a railroad junction just miles south in Corinth, Mississippi. A crossroads that was the main artery to the eastern seaboard and strategic points both north and south. The Union Army based itself at Pittsburgh Landing, while the Confederates mounted a defense of the highly valued railroads. An unforeseen attack by the Confederates apparently took the Union Army off guard, igniting the battle. Touring the battlefield today, one popular spot for visitors is known as the Hornet's Nest. The site of an uphill Confederate attack that was met with Union bullets whirring through a thicket like raging hornets protecting their nest. Amidst the battles in the nearby fields, cannon rounds streaked through the air, shrapnel rained down, muskets fired, and smoke clouds crept high into the sky. Historians quote soldiers who said there were so many bodies it was possible to walk through a battlefield walking atop corpses without a foot touching the ground. Legend gathers around the banks of the bloody pond, where soldiers from the north and south would gather to cleanse their wounds, leaving behind the stain of blood. It's also thought for many it would have been the place of their final drink. With reinforcements, General Grant, on the evening of April 6th, would see the tide of the battle turn in favor of the Union as they clinched the victory at the Battle of Shiloh. This loss proved Beauregard's words to be near prophetic, as the Confederates indeed lost the Mississippi Valley and their cause. With the lives of the dead and missing, America received its greatest wake-up call at Shiloh, by engaging in the Civil War, the cost would be devastatingly 